everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. In today's video, I have a handbag unboxing for you, and it is by the brand. This is a new brand to me, and I'm probably gonna butcher their name, so if anyone is French speaking, please let me know. I should have asked my sister-in-law, my brother's wife. She's French, French speaking, and she teaches French, but I believe it's pronounced Ateliers, Ateliers Auguste. Auguste? Let me know if I completely butchered it, but this is a new brand to me. This handbag was sent to me. I do want to preface the video by saying that, but I am in no way being paid um, to do a review on this. Uh, I am a very small YouTuber, but you'll be amazed how many brands message me daily um, asking if I can promote their items. But I'm very selective, and to be completely honest, I did look at this already because I want to see if this was something that I would actually like, so I opened it up, and if it's not that I'd send it back. I actually did that. We won't talk about the brand. Um, it's a fairly well-known makeup brand, I would say, that a lot of influencers promote. <laughs> but I ended up choosing to not work with them after I saw the product, and I was like, this is not very good. I was allowed to choose any handbag from the site, which was tough because there were quite a few styles that spoke to me, but if you have been watching my channel for some time, then you know I'm really gravitating towards high quality, minimal pieces and classic silhouettes that I know I will have for years to come. I'm very much veering away from a lot of logos. I know in the past I really liked a lot of like the LV monogram, I liked Balenciaga, I liked what it said Balenciaga. Now I've really changed and I am going towards that quiet luxury. And the handbag itself was very nicely wrapped up and I will show you. Now, as I mentioned before, there are quite a few different styles and I did go on to YouTube as well to check and see some reviews. This seemed to be, I would say, the most popular style, which is this one here. And this is, I believe, called the Mini Monso. Monsu. Um, they have the regular size, but this is the mini version. And you know me, it's either I'm rocking a tote bag or I have a little mini bag. So here it is up close. It's this beautiful eggplant lizard leather. It's not lizard. It is calf leather, it's just the sort of the embossing, kind of like when they say croc embossed. But I love the color of it. The eggplant is stunning. I believe that this might be a limited edition color. They have, I stalked their Instagram, and they do have quite a few colors that come out seasonally. So this is what caught my eye, and then it has the gold hardware there. This was the tricky part because they also had um, the same handbag with silver and it was just a smaller little silver uh, closure and I was going between both because generally I love silver hardware on handbags for my own personal jewelry I love gold I used to love silver but now I love gold but for handbags I generally love silver but I thought with this color with the purple the eggplant the gold was stunning so this is it here, so that's the hardware, and there's very minimal branding. It just says uh, Ateliers Auguste, Auguste there, and then on the back, there's very minimal branding as well. So I love that. There's also, um, on the hardware, that attention to detail, there's a little bit of the branding on the side there too, but in general, that is it. So on the back, like I mentioned, it does say Paris, are Paris. So these dip bags are designed in Paris. However, they are crafted in Italy with um, Italian leather. I believe the small leather goods are crafted somewhere else in Portugal. So let's look at it a little bit closer. So I, like I said, there is that gold hardware there. It's very similar to the Celine box bag, which I don't have, but I love. Um, I believe that's discontinued now though. So if you open it up, it just opens easy. So there's no sort of push um, closure on either side. It just opens up and there's a magnetic closure there like that. And then let's take this out. Uh, there is an adjustable strap as you can see here. So there's quite a few adjustments. You can see there's a couple more notches so you can make a really uh, short crossbody like I love. So here is the inside. You can see there's one very deep pocket 
on the inside there and then there's another um it's fairly large a flat pocket on the other side that's made with leather it says designed in paris made in italy and this is a cotton lining as well on the inside but that is it so just one open compartment nothing on the back um one really cool thing i did want to mention is that the leather uh that they use does come from the food industry i was reading on their website and they try and take a very sustainable approach to their leather so all their leather comes from the food industry um i guess as the byproduct from people eating meat on their website it says we pay special attention to sustainability by selecting hides from the food industry only in compliance with strictest regulations all leathers comply with the european reach standard our calf leather is tanned in an lwg certified partner so i love that and let's take a peek at what can kind of fit in there. I do have my phone with me because I was showing it. So if I open this up, I have the iPhone 14 Pro. It fits in so easy. <laughs> I wonder if it fit into the back pocket. I feel like it would. Okay, so it fits really nicely into the back slip pocket. Well, this opens up as um, to give you a little bit more room. So if you'd wanted to keep your phone there, you definitely could. I went to dinner the other night with one of my friends and I was using this handbag here. So if you look at the size difference between the two, it's fairly substantial. This one is a lot larger and a lot wider, but let's see how much fits from this one, which is the JW Anderson corner bag into the mini Monso. So um, my phone, obviously we saw that fits in. Generally, I do like to keep my phone in my pocket if I have pockets. Um, so uh, I typically wear jeans, so that's where my phone will go. But for reference, we will put my phone inside here. So there we go. And then in here I had my toque, which I don't think we need to put in. I was also using my YSL little compact wallet. So let's put that in. I think we'll put it in right beside my phone. I was thinking that perhaps I would put my wallet, especially my... Loewe uh, card holder because it's a very soft leather. I would probably want to put it back there so it doesn't get scratched up. But this one I would say is fairly hardy and resistant or resilient. So I'm going to put it right beside my phone there. I also have my Gucci pouch which holds my keys, my car key, sorry, my uh, there's a lip gloss as well as a uh, perfume in there. So Let's put this one in and I can put it right beside. Uh, let's see, this is fairly fat. As you can see, I feel like it's almost the same width. So I did take out my wallet really quickly just to slide this in. So it does fit, but we'll have to see if it closes. And I will also put my wallet right beside it. So in there now I have my phone, my wallet, as well as my, oh yeah, it closes very easily. So that was not an issue. And then I also had my Louis Vuitton coin purse. I had another lip gloss. I have a whole bunch of receipts in there. And then I had some mints. So that is everything that I had in there minus my toque or my beanie. So let's see if these fit in. So if we open it up, it is getting to be a tighter squeeze, I would say. I just put my coin purse on top of my phone. Probably, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move my phone to the back pocket because now that I'm thinking of it, if I did want easy access to my phone, I would put it back here and I would separate it. So we will put my phone back there. Again, car keys are in, my wallet is in. In goes my coin purse right beside my wallet. I could definitely fit my lip balm in as well. And I would put that, so I just slid it onto the side there. My mints I could put on top, I think. Mm, but we might be pushing it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, so if I put my mints just kind of resting on top, I don't think that will close. So everything but my mints fit in. However, if I take my phone out, so again, I put my phone in this back pocket here. So if I take my phone out and I were carrying, if I were to carry it in my back pocket, then for sure the mints would fit in and again i'll show you the closure nice and easy no warping to the handbag so i would say everything that fit in here can fit in to this handbag 
if I were to wear my phone or put my phone into my back jean pockets. So the price of the mini Monso, the one that I have in particular with the eggplant lizard leather is $484 American, which under $500 for a beautifully designed all leather handbag is pretty hard to find. You can also choose to get the other types of leather. So the plain box leather is $462, so a little bit cheaper. And then if you look at the silver edition, and you get the black smooth leather because there's less hardware. It's a little bit of a different design. I will put it up so you can see it. It's $375 American. So one final look at the handbag. I think for the price point being all leather, crafted in Italy with really good materials, I think it is worth it, 100%. Compared to other brands out there that are so outrageously priced and the increases that we keep seeing, it's not worth it. It honestly isn't. And that's what my whole channel is about, I feel like now. It's finding handbags at a reasonable price point that are made with good quality materials or excellent quality materials. And the craftsmanship is also really good. So I will include some mod shots for you to see, and I will link this down below. Again, thank you to uh, Tilliers August for sending me this beautiful, stunning handbag. I think that this one will be perfect for the holiday season as well, or I keep mentioning it, but it's gifting season as well because the holiday season is coming up. So this is definitely a brand that I think you should check out. So I will leave all the information down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.